adversity. Judy talked about it's chaotic times. People are cutting their budgets. Things are it's just a tough time in our community. It's a tough time in our country. It's tough. Adversity. As we all know, many of you in this room, we realize in life, adversity is coming. It's inevitable. At some point in our life, we're going to be faced with adversity. And when adversity comes my way, I'm reminded of one man, Derek Brooks. And the reason I'm reminded of Derek Brooks is not just because he was a great football player, not just because he was a great leader. He understood how to attack adversity. And oftentimes when I was playing with Derek, we didn't have a great offense in, in Tampa. We didn't have the Josh Freeman that they have now, and they're so good. I wish we did, but we didn't. <laughs> but what would happen is sometimes our, our offense will put us in a difficult situation. They might turn the ball over. They might put us in, in a situation where, you know what, it was a very adverse situation. It was a negative situation. It was a situation where you could get really frustrated and lose focus of your responsibilities. And the interesting thing about Derek Brooks is any time that would happen, he would sprint onto the field. He would get on the field before everybody else. And as we would come on the field, kind of heads maybe down, frustrated and, and mad and angry at our offense, Derek would look at us and he'd yell at us, this is an opportunity for greatness. Let's go. This is an opportunity for greatness. He didn't blink. He didn't get frustrated. He didn't get mad. His body language wasn't down. He looked at that situation and said, this is an opportunity for us to come together to take care of our responsibilities and to thrive with this opportunity. It was an opportunity for greatness.